DJ, the man himself, the master of the groove of Mr. I Feel the Beat. A lot of people have asked me over the course of this game being out, Nightmare, how do you go about playing DJ? What's the go-to options? How you go about applying pressure? So who am I to deny my people? So today's video, I'm actually gonna be breaking down how I play DJ, what he's looking for, and all the mix-ups that he has available as a character. And you already know what time it is. It's red hot! Alright y'all, so let's go ahead and start off with a quick general overview of the character DJ himself. So he's a trickster, meaning he's able to do any and everything. He's able to play defense, he's able to play offense, he's able to just control the whole screen. He got feints, he got feints, and he got BP feints. So being able to utilize these options and control the mid screen is going to be highly, highly important. You need the fireballs, standing medium kick, and medium so bad being some of your go-to options. Yet along with the power of drive rush itself, which is actually one of the best in the game. I hate Jerry, but I'm not gonna lie to you. DJ is up there with being one of the best drive rushes in the game. Whenever your opponent wants to step forward, they're gonna be scared of medium so bad sooner or later. Single shots when you feel like they're not in range for any of your buttons and low forward, which is highly good for catching them off guard and trying to also move back and forth. All right, so let's talk about some of his go-to normals. Can't go wrong with the jabs. It's your go-to options in this game. You could chain three of them together for an actual frame trap without drive rush. Uh, standing medium punch, which is a seven frame startup, plus two on block, another go-to button. Standing medium kick, is, which is most likely gonna be your go-to poke. Amazing range on it, nine frame startup, negative one on block. It has set play for space traps. You can do standing medium kick into uh, just cool. If they try and throw a button, you can follow with the low and catch them. You can also do medium kick in the medium so bad for another space trap. You can even do standing medium kick by itself without no option just to see what they actually do. Uh, low forward, well spaced, is negative six, can be punished, A frame startup. Uh, the only gripe about it is that it cannot be special canceled, so if you get caught pressing this button, your opponent is able to drive impact, but that's if they actually do their timing right. So most of the time, they probably won't, but it's an option. That's actually one of the downsides to DJ. Uh, most of his go-to buttons, you cannot special counsel into it. So if you commit to it and your opponent so happens to read the drive impact, you will get drive impact. Uh, roundhouse is also very good. It reaches uh, slightly further than medium kick. So this is also real good to throw out a uh, 12 frame startup, negative five on block. Another button that if your opponent feel they have the read, they can drive and pack it, so be aware. And also, uh, crouching medium punch. This is actually one of your special counsel buttons that is really good. Six frame startup, negative one on block. So it's also another good button to throw out there. If you feel like they're gonna drive and pack, guess what, you can actually counsel that into it, so that's real good. All right, so that is definitely some of the go-to normals. Let's go ahead and talk about the actual pressure with this character mid-scream as far as knockdowns go and when you actually want to prefer pushing them to the corner with heavy jackknife DP. Mid scream knockdown option. So your go-to bread and butter, and of course this is without drive rush or drive meter, standing medium punch into standing light kick, medium so bad. This is real good. You can actually do dash up into drive rush. So this is real strong. Let me explain why. So after you drive rush medium punch, it leaves you point blank. You can actually do a true tick throw, you can do crouching light, crouching jab in case they try and walk back. You can actually catch their feet and confirm that into medium so bad. You can even do just cool for a throw bait setup. So if they actually tech, you can lead into a punish counter for big damage. So that's why I say that is the go-to mid screen knockdown for DJ because it leads into big set play if your opponent actually doesn't beat the setup. So. Here's the downside to it. Of course, I can't just say all the good stuff and just leave out the negative side. So say you do medium so bad and you do dash up into drive rush. If they see the green spark in that situation and they see you commit to it, it is a free DP. You cannot block that. Even if you drive rush and think you could block, you can't do nothing about it. Once you dash and you commit, it's a free DP. So it's a conditioning it's a see if your opponent is actually going to do it type of deal. If they manage to DP in that situation, okay, they just burned two bars to 
get you off of them. So at some given point, they're actually going to be kind of scared of doing it because they don't want to go into burnout. So if they do DP each time, okay, burn out fast. So don't be scared to do this option. It's still strong. Don't completely get rid of it. But if they do check it, don't feel bad because they can actually punish that for the free. Um, so let's just say you actually don't want to commit to the drop rush. So say you do this, you can walk up and get that. Or you could dash up and get this. Even if they decide to back recover, you can do the same situation and just walk up and hit forward medium kick. It's not supposed to trade, I'm a little booty. There we go. So if the forward medium kick actually catches counter here, you could follow with a free low forward for another knockdown. Or if you prefer not to even move forward, you could actually set up some set play and start throwing fireballs. So it's definitely ways to set the tone without always having to commit to that dash up dry rush if you're concerned about them constantly being able to DP you off of that situation. Let's just say you actually catch them and they don't be crouching. So noticing how your opponent is getting hit is very key with DJ mid screen because if, if they're crouching, it's obvious you want to do medium so bad. Why? Ending a combo with heavy jackknife will actually miss on crouchers, which is actually the next step that I'm about to get into. So DJ is very scary in the corner. So mainly the objective for DJ mid screen is to push your opponent to the corner as fast as possible, as fast as possible. DJ is nasty, he's a monster in the corner. That's when the game really starts with his character. Your objective is to push them to the corner. So noticing how your opponent is getting hit is very critical because if they're standing, you wanna do heavy jackknife for this corner push. Look how far Luke went with just two hits into heavy jackknife. He's basically in the corner, just a few more steps away from it. This is how you want to end most of your combos if your opponent is not blocking. Off of two dash ups, I think you're like plus, plus one, which allows you to follow up with a jab. So if I set this to wake up full frame, that's free. Can't do nothing about that. So mid scream, if my back is to the wall or even right here, let's say I do this into that, 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 that. Double dash, boom, 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 boom. So that's normally a set plan for DJ, and sometimes in this situation right here, you probably just wanna go for side switch into that. So that's normally the go-to routes off a of knockdown when it comes down to DJ mid screen. If you're playing the game and you're trying to find that hit, like I said in the beginning of the video, single shot fireball is very strong. Normally, you don't really want to throw too many heavies because uh, DJ, for some reason, uh, heavy has enough start up to where as soon as somebody sees one fireball and you commit to the heavy, it's a free jump in. They will jump. So try your best to only throw single shots and feints unless you're going against a zoner like Gal, Delsum, and you're getting into an actual fireball war. When it comes down to the fireballs mid screen, you want to throw single shot, feint, and EX. These are your go-to options. So definitely mid screen, you're just fishing for a knockdown. Even if it's only with low forward, it's, it's, it's gonna cause a knockdown if it hits, which is what you want with DJ. Knockdown and pushing them to the corner. Plus eight on dash up after that, boom, time to have some fun, right? So let's actually go ahead and talk about the drive rush mid screen also. So after, after throwing out so many medium so bats, low forwards, single shots you basically to a point where you have your opponent looking for those options so now you still have draw rush that allows you to close the distance faster and create even more mind games so drive rush you could do drive rush into standing jab which is a unstoppable setup for dj unless they do perfect parry it's not completely unstoppable but i say unstoppable because if, if they try and check draw rush nine times out of ten they will probably get hit. So standing jab after drive rush is real good. It links into a standing medium punch, which also links to standing light kick. So that's a pretty good bread and butter combo, this right here. If you feel like you got them respecting it, you can do that 
into this. So this is not an actual strength. This connects, but if you do cross and mean punch, that doesn't connect. So this is actually a good block strength. So say they decide to respect all this, you can lead into heavy fireball. Now, this is a good situation that's created because if they decide to block, this is the situation that's created, a space game. So after heavy shot, mind games is able to be played. Now you don't always have to commit to the just cool option. You can sometimes throw the heavy shot and just see what they do. So DJ is a real bully machine because of the fact that he has plus buttons. So getting your opponent blocking, getting them to respect DJ is numero uno. Another thing mid scream, uh, if you feel like they're respecting the fireballs, you can also sneak in a dry rush low forward, which is real good. In case they try and walk back, throw a button, they get poked out, knocked down, which is what you want, push them to the corner. So that, that pretty much covers the mid scream game with DJ. He has options for days. Throwing in them feints, getting your opponent weary about something that's actually not gonna happen. You can even throw in a faint and throw out a button. Making the presence of the fireball is so strong. So once you get them worried about it, start throwing in the feints. You can actually start sneaking in other options that they're probably not gonna be ready for. Not saying they can't check it, but this mind game is so strong. This is why DJ's a trickster, because the creativity that you're able to create with this character is, is just, can't put a number on it. So I might be giving you a general game plan on how the character is played, but at the end of the day, because DJ's a trickster, you're gonna be able to just flow it however you feel you could flow it. Creativity, being a trickster, is what DJ is. Finding ways to get creative is what you wanna do. All I can do is tell you what the character can do. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the corner game now. So the corner game is where DJ wants you at. I'm right here and I do this, 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 and to this, this, this. You are now in the corner after two dashes, right? What is actually able to happen? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to have some real fun. Let me go ahead and turn on uh, wake up, crouch and jab, just let, just let you know it's real. So boom, boom. Complete count here. This is a real throw loop. If you don't feel comfortable with this throw loop, guess what? You could do dash up with jab and throw loop that way. So let's say your opponent is tired of getting thrown. You could do faint into that, boom, boom, boom. You could do this, boom, into that. You could actually whiff this and go into that. It's a meaty forward medium kick. The corner is where DJ wants you at because of these options right here. If I get you scared all that, guess what? Drive impact. Drive impact into safe jumps. Into damage. Into big boy routes. Into love. You dig what I'm saying? All this becomes available in the corner. Let's say they're actually just blocking and they're not doing anything that allows you to gain a hit. Same thing applies as if you was mid screen. This is the distance that you mainly want to keep. Poke with these options, bullying with that, single shots. And if you feel like they still blocking too much, you can still dry rush and get a throw off, reset the situation, go back to rinse and repeat those same options. That is how scary DJ's corner game is. And you know what's crazy? I haven't even finished breaking it down yet. We forgot about the safe jumps. Let's say opponent wants to do OD uppercut or well, off of they wake up. This is what makes DJ even more scary. He has all this pressure, but on top of that, he has legit safe jumps that don't allow him to get DP. So anytime you end a combo with heavy jackknife DP, you get a forward jump into heavy punch that allows you to block. Because that's basically what a safe jump is. You can jump while being able to block a DP. And there are several ways to set this up. So say you do... Yeah, you want to do the knee, which allows for another safe jump. So anytime you do medium into heavy, you want to do the actual knee. You cannot commit to the forward jump after this. So knowing how you end your combos will, de will determine which option you have to do in order to lead into a safe jump. 
So heavy jackknife by itself, you go forward jump, safe jump. Anytime you do medium into heavy, forward light kick, safe jump. Uh, drive impact, fierce, just cool heavy into heavy jackknife DP. You have to do the light DP faint into the punch in order for that safe jump to work. So boom, that, 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 into that. Another safe jump. You cannot forward jump in this situation. Your opponent will be able to hit you. Oh, I lied. You get it. So, of course, if your opponent doesn't press a button whatsoever, you could dash up, boom, boom. This is plus two. Fireball in the corner is plus two for DJ. Mixing up your options, have your opponent guessing, is what you always want to do when you had them in the corner as D to the J, all right? So let's actually talk about some go-to with punish options that I prefer to use as DJ. Say your opponent decides to whiff a button, my go-to option for that in most situations will always be a roundhouse. It leads into a punish counter situation that allows a good damage, boom, 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 and guess what? You get that corner push that you're looking for, safe jump, time to guess. Now you don't normally have to do the second drive rush if you don't want to, it just depends on the amount of damage that you're looking for. You can actually do one, which costs less because you did it from the drive parry, and get the double dash into the setup. Crouching meter punch is also good. Crouching meter punch, you gotta be a little bit closer, but it works. But mainly my options is definitely low forward and roundhouse. Mainly roundhouse because of the combo follow-up that you get. Uh, the target combo is good also, the standard meter punch, heavy punch into roundhouse. I feel like I don't use this enough, but this is real good also. And some people feel like this target combo would probably miss, but that that lunge on the uh, fierce, this combo will actually always hit. So DJ has several ways to score knockdowns. It just depends on which one you're actually real comfortable with. I also, I think the last thing I actually wanna talk about in this video is fireball game. I kinda touched on it in the beginning of it, but I actually wanna go a little bit deeper into it. So as we all know, like I said, he has single shot, which is one, it recovers the best now of course faint recovers the fastest because you don't actually throw one but medium is a good one and heavy is good for a fireball war so let's just say you feel like your opponent won't jump at all mixing up each option is real good so if if you feel like you press single shot one time or maybe twice go ahead and throw out a faint just to see how they react Mixing up each option off of each guess is what you really want to do. So boom, boom, or boom, it's a faint, right? Try to keep the one, two, three active when it comes down to fireball game with DJ. Single shot, heavy shot, single shot, faint, just, just see what they do. Single shot, faint, faint. At this given time, right, they're either going to be moving forward or they would have probably committed to a forward jump at some given time. So once they close the distance on you, you can actually start throwing a medium kick, forward medium kick, or you can even dry rush if you feel like they're about to inch up, forward jump, and don't press a button. You can meet them halfway with a dry rush and just cut them off. Now you're in their face, you're plus, you can get your guess for game going. So that, that's pretty much the general concept on pressure and how to play DJ, y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if it was found helpful. I feel like I probably answered most questions that people tend to have for DJ, but if you feel like I may have missed something, please let me know down in the, in the comment section below. I'm always open to all engagement. I would not feel bad about it. Catch you guys in the next one.